Hey YouTube, this is just another one of my videos here. I'm going to show you guys my Acer Aspire A150 netbook that I've turned into a Mac. Alright, let's go. So we just booted up into Mac, and now let me just log in. Alright guys, so obviously this is my Acer Aspire 1 netbook <clears throat> with all the fixings. I've got every Mac program on the market right now. And yeah, I'm just going to show you guys around. <clears throat> the only things I don't have working are the... Are the internal built-in microphone which is right there the built-in webcam which is right there and automatic switching between headphones and speakers which is right here I don't know if you can see that all right I know people are gonna say oh you can fix that but I know how to fix it and for some reason it stopped working on my system and I guess I'm okay with that the microphone in my camera is better anyway so yeah <clears throat> so this is my system and um I'll run you through my programs now. Um, I got all the regular stuff. Um, if you guys are a torrent, if you guys are all torrenters, um, I recommend Vues, Views, whatever you want to call it. That's a really good program. One more just for music, whatever. Um, Photoshop CS4 Extended, beautiful program if you're a photo editor guy. Um, you got iPhoto and Aperture. They're pretty normal programs, but yeah, Aperture comes separate. iLife if you buy it with your Mac. I didn't buy a Mac, so yeah. I can't really say that I purchased iPhoto. Um, Shake. If you're a video guy and you like video effects, like putting flames and stuff in your video, this is a really good program for that. Then, of course, you got Motion, DVD Studio Pro, and Final Cut Pro, which are all part of Final Cut Studio. I have Final Cut Studio 2 installed on this thing. I don't have, obviously, the full thing because this is an Acer Aspire 1, and it's only got... 120 gigabyte hard drive because it is the older model of the of the Aspire ones. Um, the newer ones have 160 gig. This is ScreenFlow and this is the program I'm using to um, to get the screencast that I'm also broadcasting right now in the bottom corner of the screen or in the full screen. I haven't decided which one yet. Um, it's the program that Apple uses for their um their keynote presentations. I know they use Keynote for that, but they use this for um screen screen capture like screen capture presentations. Like if you go on their Apple website and you look at tutorials on the internet, they use ScreenFlow for all of those. It's a multi-layer multi -layer video program and you can add different effects. You can tilt the video and have multi-layer. It's pretty beautiful. I love it. It's high definition and everything. And obviously Final Cut Pro, that's like my life. Um, color for color correction, I think. I haven't actually used that program yet. I just have it. Um, iMovie, iMovie 08, unfortunately. GarageBand 08. Logic Pro, another one of my favorite family members. Um, I use this program all the time because I'm always writing music and producing music and putting together songs to finish up my CD that I'm putting out soon. And yeah, um, I would like a basic Dreamweaver. Pages, 20 times better than Word. Numbers, I haven't actually used it, but apparently 20 times better than Excel. Um, Keynote, easily 20 times better than PowerPoint. Um, yeah, that's what's on my Mac. Um, about this Mac, let me just show you what my, my specs are. Um, as most people who own Aspire ones know, it's 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core Solo processor, um, Intel Atom. Um, it's got mine has one gigabyte of RAM. I've been thinking of updating it to the 1.5 gig because that's what it can maximum hold, and that would make it a little bit faster for me. Um, yeah. Well, the other thing that I don't have working is the internal wireless card. So what I'm using right now is this external wireless card it's 
um, a Belkin, hmm, Belkin F5D 9050. Only problem I had with this sometimes is that sometimes when you've been downloading or torrenting for a long while, it'll unexpectedly give you a kernel panic. It hasn't happened to me in the longest little while, so that's that's that. But like, yeah, I'm running um, OS X 10.55. I haven't really figured out much about kernels yet, so I haven't been able to update to 10.56, but yeah. Oops. Quit. Um, yeah, so that's my Mac, guys. Um. I've been doing time machine backups to my 8GB USB stick. Unfortunately, that's obviously not the full backup because of all the programs I have. I pretty much just excluded everything except my documents and important files, things that I'll need if I like lose my system, because I have all my software on CDs and all the installation files on CDs. So, yeah. That's my system. Alright, YouTube. Hope you guys all have a great day, and see you later. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, info that might help me out with my system, don't hesitate to comment, guys. Like, seriously. We're all a community of hackers. We need to work together. All right, later.